Stanford University. We're looking at a Greco-Roman sculpture from the Cantor Collections to analyze it for traces of paint. This is a story about a new look at ancient Greco-Roman statues. When we often think of these marble sculptures, we think of them as white and austere and pretty much unpainted. And that's actually pr probably as far as you can get from the actual truth. These sculptures were often brightly, very, very brightly painted. Right now I'm using the black light to look at the surface. It is also a story about mixing science and art. You can see a little yeah, bit of the discoloration. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Stanford sophomore Ivy Nguyen, a chemical engineering major, is using black light to delve into how and why these painted ladies came to be. She's 2,000 years old and she dates back from the time of King Herod, about 25 AD to 79 AD. Now a replica is on display in the Cantor Arts Center painted to look the way she might have been in 79 AD. This exhibition has two main points that we want to illustrate. One, that these sculptures were brightly painted and while it's one thing to look at a blank marble sculpture and think, oh, this might have been, this might have been red and this might have been yellow, it's a very, very different experience to see that in person. Ivy, of course, was involved in every uh, level of this. So the figures, the figures were painted in a way that she has imagined and essentially extrapolated from the scientific information. Science and art, while, while traditionally thought of as very different and very distinct fields, almost admissible fields, are, um, can actually be used to complement each other. But it brings the sculpture to life, actually, in a way that is surprising. See, that's, and the painted that's ladies have brought something to life for Ivy as well. For an undergrad to be able to do research like this is an invaluable opportunity. It's encouraged me to begin to take a lot of art history classes and um, I'm actually going to take my first art studio class next quarter. So it's really a kind of almost a life-changing experience. For the Stanford News Service, I'm Jack Hubbard. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.